Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out a foundation from the Miss Rose brand. So I purchased this foundation from AliExpress and it cost me £1.91. But this is what the foundation looks like. She's called Matte. It's very simple, to the point, direct. And I have her in the shade Light. So the reason why I really wanted to try this, well, there's actually a couple of reasons. Uh, one of my very favourite foundations ever is by Miss Rose. It's called the Purely Natural Foundation. Uh, I really, really love that one. And I also really, really enjoyed a BB cream by the Miss Rose brand. So when I saw that they'd released another foundation, of course, I was really, really intrigued. And I just really wanted to give it a go based on the fact that I really enjoyed their other two base products. So in similar vein to every other makeup product on AliExpress, I couldn't really get that much info from the description on the actual ad. It just seems like they just throw a bunch of kind of generic words into a paragraph that they have heard coupled with a foundation. So there's kind of like liquid, moisturising, radiant, foundation, oil free. Just think, well, what, what, what is it? Like, I don't really trust in it because you're just obviously just throwing all these words at the description, but I don't really take much from the descriptions anymore on AliExpress makeup because I just think there's always going to be an issue with translation. Yeah, they don't do descriptions very well at all. If you've not seen any of my foundation reviews here on YouTube, before I will always do a first impression and then I'll go away wear the foundation over a few days and then once I've got a really good opinion of the product I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. I'm also going to be showing you what this foundation looks like in natural light as well because Oh my gosh, I've learned over the past couple of months that studio lighting can make anything look good. I'm going to show you what this looks like in natural light, i.e. reality. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm just going to begin and I'm going to be applying this foundation with a sponge today because there's no descriptions to tell me otherwise. I'm just going to give her a little shake. Okay, so I have dry skin. I'm also 37 now, even though I do like to think I'm still 21. Hell, no, I like to think I'm 18. That's how I feel inside. And do you know what? Age is just a number. So yeah, I feel I feel 18, but my skin, yeah, it's definitely letting me know that I'm becoming 30. Well, I am 37. Ugh. Okay, so this is what the founded lesion looks like. I know my sponge kind of gives the impression that I've not washed it in about a year. I promise like, I gave it a really good wash last night but it just seems to be perpetually stained. So, I mean, really. This foundation, like, the consistency does look quite thick. If I, oh gosh, should I do this? I don't know. Is this like the souffle or meringue test? You know, where the chefs turn upside down. Oh my gosh, it's staying on. Ooh, she is thick. So I'm just gonna pop, 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 because I think I applied quite a generous amount. So I'm just plopping that all around my face. Yeah, she definitely is thick. Look, like why is she holding in that position? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we could be in for a very high coverage kind of situation today. I'm not a huge fan of, um, you know, very high coverage foundations. I'm definitely more fan of light to medium coverages. I also much prefer a yeah, kind of healthy, glowy, radiant finish. This does, this, well, the name of the product is called Matte. So I am kind of expecting it, it to be matte, but I mean, this is AliExpress. Anything could happen. It's probably going to be like the dewiest foundation ever. Just to let you know though, if this foundation does not impress us, I would definitely recommend the Purely Natural by Miss Rose and also their BB cream. I'm not quite sure if they are still selling it just because I've not really seen it about for, for a while. But those are two really, really good base products. Do you know what? This is looking really good so far. I'm very impressed. It's applying absolutely beautifully with the sponge. I think the shade is definitely leaning quite warm and it's not traditionally what I would necessarily kind of think of as being light. 
But, I mean, I can't complain because, you know what, I kind of really like this so far. It's actually looking really, really beautiful. It's definitely, I would describe this as being like a full coverage. See how it's kind of really covered up my redness? I've got some redness up there. Oh, shit. I forgot to do the half of my face done, half not done, so we can compare. Oh, guys, I've robbed myself from that experience. That's like, oh, one of my favourite things to do in a foundation first impression oh i'm so sorry guys like, i'm so sorry i forgot to do that but maybe when i come back and give you like my final thoughts on the foundation i could do it then we could do like a half face done kind of situation then so don't worry it's fine do you know what i love this this has just gone on absolutely beautiful and it looks really really good i know it's still wet it's not really set yet but it definitely does not look to me like it's going to be like a true matte finish because it does definitely have a little bit of kind of glow on my on my face but you know that could just be because it's not set this is what she looks like and I, I actually think she looks really really beautiful like she looks really nice and I, i'm not gonna do any more because i get the impression that she's actually setting because she feels quite kind of dry on my face you know sometimes when you've just applied a foundation and it could feel very like wet and a bit oily and emollient on your face not this one this actually feels like it's just like set it does feel quite sticky to the touch though so i'm not going to touch it but this is what she's looking like i think she looks really really good just you wait until i go outside though and i don't want to be like a pessimist thinking this is just going to look terrible but i've just had some bad experiences recently where i've applied foundations they look phenomenal i've stepped foot outside and oh my gosh hello texture yeah i'm hoping that's not going to be the case with this i am just going to have a little look in the mirror of reality oh this is looking good <gasps> oh my gosh guys this looks really really good i mean it's a little bit heavy just can you see just here just like around my chin i have a lot of texture on my chin it's definitely my biggest problem area on my face and i'm not quite sure why i have so much texture but i did definitely struggle a lot with adult acne in my mid-20s and i just feel like it's taken a beating from all of those spots so yeah that's not looking the best uh it's not doing a bad job around my pores i mean i can definitely still see you know i can see my pores around my nose but it doesn't look terrible and it just feels really really comfortable on my face and believe me i am super picky when it comes to how foundations feel on my face i just don't like to feel them i want them to be invisible this one actually feels really comfortable so that's definitely great and still i don't see that this foundation is taking on a matte look if i turn my head to the side you will see we've got this kind of glow kind of bouncing off so yeah i'm not quite convinced that this is going to be a matte finish Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of setting powder on my face because I am looking just a little bit kind of oily right now. Some may call it glowy, but I'm kind of calling it oily right now. So I'm going to just help this foundation out a little bit. I'm going to apply some of the Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, this is the Magic Powder. Oh no, sorry, it's the Genius Magic Powder. You know what, I take the piss out of this, but I actually really do like it. It's by no means genius or magic, but I do think it leaves your skin looking like really good. And it kind of pains me saying that, honestly. But And I'm going to use quite a small brush here because I don't want to go too overboard on how much I'm applying because I do have dry skin. So... I am always very conscious about how much powder I'm actually adding on to my skin because I don't want to do anything else that's just going to make it look or feel drier than it already is. Oh, do you know what? This feels absolutely beautiful going on over the foundation. I am actually deeply impressed with this foundation so far. I think this could be a hit there's just something about miss rose that is very good 
very good because I'm at a loss for the words to use. I just remember like back in my early days filming AliExpress makeup videos, Miss Rose was a brand that I, I used a lot and actually I was super impressed with the majority of her products. I would love to know who is Miss Rose, who is she? I like to think that she is kind of like a middle-aged lady. She wears a lot of heavy colourful floral print. She's got very kind of like, you know, Vivian Westwood kind of crazy. I've just walked through 10 bushes backwards kind of hair and she's got really like extravagant makeup on that's rather eccentric. Basically, she's somebody's crazy aunt. But that's how, how I envisage Miss Rose looking. I think she would be salt of the earth, I really do. Okay, so now we've got the face set. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna apply my blush, my contour, and a little bit of highlight, and then I will be back to show you the final look. But so far, so good, and I'm so excited because this is looking good, it's feeling good. I am really excited about this one, guys, and I'm just really eager to see this in natural light. Okay, so I just popped on a few faux freckles because why? I couldn't resist. I mean, I just couldn't. I love popping faux freckles on. So I'm just gonna pop some of my contour on. I wanted to show you so that we could examine how well and easily this goes on on top of the founded liation. Okay, so I'm using just the Hoola bronzer today and a Kaleidos Makeup Angled Contour Brush, which I really love. Like, I really, really do. Okay, so that went on absolutely beautifully. There was no resistance whatsoever from the founded liation. Uh. Oh, pardon me, guys. Pardon. I've had a fizzy drink. I never burp at any other time apart from when I have a fizzy drink. And then I become like an 80 year old granddad burping away like the new tomorrow. Okay, and next we're gonna pop some highlighter on and I'm gonna be using the Kaleidos Makeup Space Age Prophecy Beautiful Highlighter. Mm. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Mm. It's so beautiful. Bing, bang, bong, sing that song. Ding, dang, dong. I've got that song really stuck in my head, guys. It's so country. Unleash the beast, baby! Anyway, great, great. Okay, so I have finished off the makeup. Foundation's feeling absolutely fabulous. It's looking absolutely fabulous. I am going to take you outside and we're gonna examine how this looks in reality. Okay, so I've not actually ventured outside, outside because it's pouring down with rain and I just, I don't want to get soaking wet, but I've realized that standing just in front of a window is just as good as being outside. It's even better because I'm not getting soaking wet. So this is how the foundations are looking. I'm just paying a lot of attention to my chin because the chin is, what is it? my problem zone it's just a nightmare so it definitely does look a little bit heavy it kind of is emphasizing the texture but believe me compared to how terribly most foundations emphasize texture on my chin this is looking immaculately flawless honestly at the end of the day i have texture there there's no founded liation in the world that is, is going to just magically make it disappear although i'm sure charlotte tilbury believes that she could create some kind of genius magic formula to get rid of it but they, let's be realistic here you know foundation is not going to magically rid you of texture or uneven skin so i think all things considered and kind of comparing it against other founded liations that i've used i think my chin looks really really good overall i think everything looks good like you could definitely see the pores but again like this foundation it's not going to magically make them disappear and compared to a lot of other foundations 
This, especially high coverage foundations, my paws are nowhere near as accentuated as I have seen them in the past. I think everything looks good on my forehead. My face looks, I would say, hydrated. Like, I don't feel like it looks dry. It definitely feels very comfortable and lightweight uh, whilst providing a kind of definite medium to, I mean, I would probably say full coverage, but I'll leave you to make up your own mind about what you think about that because I know that uh, coverage is a very um, speculative, is that the word? No, not speculative, a very, oh, I'm thinking of the word, right, where subjective, that's it, oh my gosh, subjective so anyway i love the look of this would i say it's matte no am i happy about that yes i would definitely describe this as being like a radiant uh, natural to radiant i say natural leaning to radiant natural but more radiant kind of foundation does that make sense i don't know but guys i am so excited about wearing this foundation over the next few days i will do updates if there's anything pertinent that I feel like I need to tell you or show you. But if not, I will see you in a few days after I have really tried out this foundation and I've really made up my mind about my thoughts on it. Hello there. So it's the next day. I have been wearing the Miss Rose Foundation all day today i popped it on at about seven o'clock this morning it is now three o'clock in the afternoon so yeah i've had it on a really good amount of time i've been in the office i've been out and about and um now i'm in my car for school pickup but i think the foundation has actually held off or, or what i think the foundation has actually held up really really well i have been wearing a mask on and off all day because in the office we have to wear a mask when we're kind of moving around the office so i've had my mask basically like this all day and i've just been like moving it up and down and up and down so you can see the foundation has definitely worn away on my chin which is definitely to be expected you know i don't think there's any foundation in the world that would not have come off my chin with all of this mask putting on and taking off again so yeah it's come away a bit there but everywhere else i really really like how it's looking i i think it looks really really good like i'm really liking it i have no complaints it feels really 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 comfortable it it's held up well it looks good i think the shade is perfect i just have felt really really confident in it all day so i'm going to be wearing it again tomorrow i'm in the office i'm going on a bit of a road trip so yeah, I'll be testing it again tomorrow, but honestly, I think I really like it. I can't see that it's going to really do anything to massively disappoint me. So anyway, I will give you an update tomorrow. I'm taking the mask off. I've had it on all day. It's freaking me off, honestly. I know it's important to wear them. And I suppose support and encourage everyone to wear a mask anyway i am gonna go but i'll do another update tomorrow and i'll let you know how i find the foundation then but anyway i'm gonna go boy hello so i'm back it's the third day that i've been i don't know why i'm shouting i'm so sorry i spent most of my morning driving today and first some reason I think that that is a reason why I'm now shouting which I'm not quite sure why that would be the case but anyway it's the third day that I've been wearing this founded liation I've had it on for about seven hours so far today I applied it really early this morning so I had it on for a good amount of the day similar to yesterday I had a perpetual dance of the mask situation going on today my mask was up it was down it was up it was down oh my gosh honestly and um yeah i think you can kind of see around my chin that the foundation has kind of it's kind of worn off a little bit but not as bad as yesterday actually so yeah i i, I have nothing but great things to say about this foundation i think that for the price it is extremely and i mean extremely good so the things that i really really love about this foundation number one i think it gives a really really good medium 
to you could definitely build this up to a, a full coverage if you you know went in and kind of built it up in no problem so if you're a full coverage kind of girl or guy you could definitely get full coverage out of this i uh, tend to like a medium coverage so that's kind of you know how i like to wear it but the name of this foundation is matte but to me this is not definitely not a matte finish I would kind of describe this as being a natural leaning towards a radiant finish because it, 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 there's nothing about this that looks matte to me. Obviously, I've got my highlighter on today, but the you know if you look on my forehead where I don't have any highlighter, so it's just the foundation, you can kind of see a little bit of a glow. Also, I do, do just want to say, because I've just noticed here, that it does look like it's oxidized a little bit and also i would want to bring attention to my pore application that i've walked about with all morning and i've met maybe about 30 of my colleagues today and had interactions with them with this but uh, it's lucky that i just don't really give a shit so it's fine but um this foundation is also very comfortable very long wearing very easy to apply and it's super affordable i would definitely have no no reservations whatsoever in recommending this foundation to you unfortunately the shade range as we touched upon earlier is diabolical and i'm really really sad about that mostly because it's just a shame that it's just not that many people who are going to be able to enjoy this founded liation purely for the, because of the lack of uh, range in the shade so i think that miss rose need to step it up they've created a beast of a founded liation they need to create more shades so that more people can enjoy it and i know that that takes money i get it but this is a really good foundation and it deserves to be sold in more shades it deserves to be enjoyed by everyone so anyway guys i am going to go if you've got any questions or if there's anything that i've missed out that you would like answers to then please just let me know down in the comments and uh, yeah i'm gonna go but thank you so much for watching this review i've had a huge amount of fun doing it and it's such a pleasure to actually find a super affordable foundation that is iconic honestly an icon is in our midst oh you have a fantastic rest of the day and i hope to see you in the next video Boy, I don't know why my hands were up and then they're down and then I'm just so awkward. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. That was annoying. Oh my gosh. I'm going, guys. I've not had my breakfast yet and it's like two o'clock, so I'm off to have my all brand.